in his shoes. I'm like, I don't think I'm supposed to be in here, am I? He's like, no, no, go the other way. The best way to describe it is it's a loft that they've torn into a dorm room pretty much. Well, it wasn't like five-star hotel. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a, just above the champion's locker. The beds are not, you know, the, the, the most, uh, the biggest and most comfortable ones. It's nothing extravagant. You know, the, it might be a total of 300 square feet, 400 square feet, maybe max, you know, and there's four bedrooms in there. I remember I, I wake up uh, late and all the guys were waking up early and you can feel everything, the shower, the every every noise, so it was it was hard to get a, a good sleep. There was another lad uh, who I knew was really tall. I mean, he must have had to be on his knees to, to fit in this shower. It was um, it was tiny. The hardest thing, or thing that surprised me most about it was the stairwell going up. It's extremely narrow, it's extremely steep. And so like, if you're not paying attention, man, you can wipe out pretty easily. You know, just has a lot of awesome, you know, artwork and um, memorabilia from previous masters and previous um, amateurs who've stayed there. And it's just really cool, you know, being inside the clubhouse and, and actually staying there. You can feel how special it is. The really cool was, like, I think it was Tuesday they had a champion's dinner. I got down there and then this door opened slightly. And that was like 10 years ago in 2010 masters. So I looked at the door, I see like, you know, Mr. Nicholas was there, Tiger was there, all the other <laughs> because I was still 17 years, I was 18 years old, so I see all those players sitting there like, having a dinner, I was like, that's pretty cool. Come down from the crow's nest, you walk on, you're obviously on the second floor of the clubhouse. Well, right's kind of uh, an eating area, and if you take a left, there's two doors there. If you go left, you go in the champion's locker room. So inevitably, you get confused one morning, you end up walking in the locker room, so that my first year there, I walked in and saw Gary Player changing his shoes. I'm like, I don't think I'm supposed to be in here, am I? <laughs> He's like, no, no, go the other way. So yeah, that's one of the cute little quirks of, about where that place is located. But I think it's just kind of weird being there, you know, at 9, 10 o'clock when you're pretty much one of the only people in the clubhouse. And I didn't really wander around, but I, I kind of wanted to. Um, I think I was a little too, you know, nervous about that. But it's just cool being there. I think that's the best part of seeing the Crows Nest is seeing those, all the ch past champions having, you know, having a locker there and then having a dinner there. So I think that was a, the coolest experience. And also, like when you wake up, you see those people rolling in at like seven o'clock in the morning. This gives you a goosebump. Great thing about being an amateur at the Masters is the staff, the members, even the patrons there. They all feel like you all feel like they're rooting just for you. You know, they, they, they take pride in having you there. They want you to have a great time, have a great experience. And, you know, I tell every amateur ever stays there, make sure you leave with one of the rogues because I still have one of my, the one I stayed there is still with me in my house now. So I told Billy Payne, the old chairman Payne, and Fred Ridley, if they ever want to bill me, go ahead and bill me. I'll, I'll pay for it. But, um, you know, it's just one of those cool things where you spend a week up there, you kind of with the other guys you're playing with or the other amateurs that are there, you're reliving stories at nighttime, kind of talking through the, the, the wild moments you had that day of who you ran into or who you played with or the shots you saw or whatever it may be. And it's really cool to have three or four of the guys going through the same experience as you are because otherwise you can kind of feel like you're out on an island there, you know. So it's, it, it's a really cool experience, something I wish we had more of in golf.